Yes. Everybody can hear me and see me okay? Just hit put a one in the chat. Cool. Rolling in. So normally I have this webinar style. So we are, um, I'm in my office and they're at their office, but they so graciously pulled up to the office today. And so we're doing it live from um, one of my offices, one of our offices. So uh, today I have the Perrys. They are um, mobile home real estate investors and regular real estate investors, um, real estate entrepreneurs, really. Um, so I let them introduce themselves, uh, tell them what they'll do and how you get started in mobile home investing. Absolutely. Uh, well, I'm I'm Charlie. And this is of course Angela. this is my wife Angela. Uh, and just as she said, as I call her anyway, I don't, I don't know why anybody else <laughs> really go with something, but <laughs> that's cool. We'll, we'll rock with that. Um, we, uh, we do invest in um, mobile homes. Um, our, our genre is affordable housing specifically. Uh, and uh, just a little bit about us. Um, we're rolling up on uh, 10 years. Yes. 10 years. Yep, I made it. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I was able to do it. I was able, you know, we were able to pull it off. Yeah. Didn't end up dead. So thank God. Whoa. Oh, talking about you now. That's why I missed the wall. No, no, no. We've been married 10 years, five kids. Um this business. <laughs> Um, and we have uh, ups and downs. Uh, we've learned a lot along the way, and um, we love Christ. Um, I'm surprised you didn't start off with that. I'm, I'm from Chicago. <laughs> and I'm from Chicago. <laughs> All right, so from Chicago, um, been in business for 10 years, mm -hmm. but you had multiple businesses. So yes. what type of businesses have you done before getting into uh, real estate? <laughs> well, <laughs> mobile home investing. Well, she, well, I was more of the entrepreneur. Well, I ain't gonna say that either. I wrote my first book. Yes. Okay, so I, <laughs> I was trying to figure out how, what type of entrepreneur I was. Right. Uh, and I was doing multiple things. And so I, I went from a gambit of whatever you could figure out and um, and then we, when we got married, um, I think our first business was was it Tier Media? No, mm -hmm. it was the first. It was business. Okay, yeah, that was a, a marketing company. My, oh, like network marketing? No. no. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, like, like media marketing. Oh, media. Okay, okay. You know, um, no I experience. Created our first website. Yes, she did. No experience. Like, like <laughs> links and all that. And all that it stuff. gets me a headache every time. So unfortunately, I shut that one down. Right. Yeah. So, all right. So then media marketing, um, one of the businesses learn some, learn from it. Oh, yeah. experience, I'm sure. Oh, and probably nice. bringing into the mobile home. So what made you guys get into mobile home in this? There in between though, that and the mobile home was a construction company. Oh, okay. So this is kind of like, you can kind of see how it would maybe progress into one to another, but, um, construction was a, as you, we were doing residential, residential construction. So you know, eighth of an inch tile got grout here and a quarter of an inch grout may mean you don't get paid. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so in that world, it's just like is there's so many inconsistencies right. in your and even though we did make good money in construction, right? And just you know, it was working every day though. We still like when when we stopped working, we stopped getting paid. Right. So you would do all the work and then you wouldn't get paid for it from sometimes. The, yeah. Sometimes we wouldn't get paid. We get paid in increments. Right. Um, sometimes we get paid all up front. Yeah. Um, and you know, that, that's sometimes not good either. You know? <laughs> yeah. Because they get, you go through it. Right. <laughs> uh, just in real estate investing in general, contractors is like one of the hardest things to find. So hearing from another perspective, like this is probably why um, I'm not necessarily want to do contract anymore because <laughs> either you're not getting paid or uh, they say the work not done, but it's really good, but it's not 
Um, so, so newspaper, probably, HGTV, and that's what you expected. So expectations right. usually aren't met um, because nobody leveled out the expectations. Right. Okay. On both things. Yeah. On both so ends. we weren't we weren't great managers, and we weren't even great contractors, but alone great managers. Trying to figure that out. We were still <laughs> trying to figure that portion out. Who had hired? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> indeed. Indeed. Um. Cool. So from from that to construction or media to construction, then so then we got bit by that wholesale bug. That okay, I was going around Atlanta. Uh, well, when I, I would say when I first got an ear to it, I'm sure I was going around well before I got an ear to it. But I was in a desperate spot, so I'm trying to figure out another way mm -hmm. besides what I'm doing. And and the wholesaling seemed like I could like I could get in. I was looking at the people that looked like me mm -hmm, on the right. YouTube videos and stuff, and I was like, "Oh shoot, okay, you're talking about kind of language. I think I can get in and do this." Right. And we did a whole bunch of we did a lot of yellow letters, Ooh. a lot of yellow <laughs> letters, a lot of yellow letters. Yeah, I don't know how much money we spent. We yeah. spent a lot of money. Yeah, we went to uh, Max Maxwell's. Uh, so when he pretty much. Start being on YouTube. That's when y'all got the yeah. He went hard. On he, 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 <laughs> he went, went hard on YouTube with yeah. the, the different marketing. Um, uh, Max Waxley like, looked like he documented it and then he shot up. Yeah, y'all yeah. yeah. <laughs> doing all kind of things. And, and, that, and that's the that's the part of our you know we're on the outside looking in. Right. YouTube don't even tell us but so much. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You have an experience yourself and we're like okay we're going to the real meetings. And this wholesale thing is just like in my pocket. <laughs> and everybody's around me ain't winning either, though. Mm -hmm. So I was like, the people who are winning are telling us. Right. Like, you know, it's 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 a it's a couple of them, but it's a lot of us who aren't winning. Right. Okay. So I was just I was just I was in that pool of not winning, and I'm not a not winner. Right. <laughs> and spending money. I'm sure not right. winning. <laughs> spending a lot of money too. So something gonna have to give. <laughs> All right, so the, um, got the whole set. Did y'all even close any deals or no? Well, the cool, the crazy part about that is that's where we found, well, that's where we got our itch for the park. Okay. Um, it was from a, we were, as we were sending out yellow letters and information correspondence, we got a response. I, it wasn't from a yellow letter, it was from a yellow letter. But he didn't stay at that property. He said, I have one in Savannah. Mm -hmm. I got a mobile home park. Y'all right. want y'all interested in buying a mobile home park? I didn't know nothing about buying a mobile home right. park. Zero. But my first answer was yes, off the top. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. <Deal. yes>. Deal. <laughs> I go to her and I'm like, um, so you want to let's drive to Savannah and go look at a mobile home park to buy. And 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 yeah, it had to be one of them God things because she didn't give, I mean, she gave up no fight. Mm. She was like, okay. I think she wanted to go visit her friend too. She wanted to go see her friend too. Like, I'm going to take the, you know, she just trusted me so much. She was like, you know, you're my husband. You got a guy that puts something on your plane. We're going to rock with you. So I'm going to go with that. Okay. okay. It's a compliment. It's a lesson, right? <laughs> but he's the jumper and I'm the reverse. Right. So I'm usually calculated. It didn't cost me anything but a drive. Right. So I was like, sure, why not? Um, and then we drove. But when we got there, we're looking at a park and we're doing numbers. Right. You know how much lot rent is? I think it was like two something. Yeah. And we knew how much he owed on the actual park, like how much note he had left, which was ridiculously low. Right. And I was like, this don't seem right. Like, it seemed too good to be true. It just seemed too good to be true. You talking about you want, I think he wanted 75000 yeah. mm -hmm. And he had less than 200000 Less than 200000 Left on a, the note. Mm. His kid didn't want the park. He already had one. And he was trying, you know, trying to make an investment for his kids. And he was like, I don't want that. Right. So <laughs> we were just like, that. Hey, this don't like is this a world we need to really entertain? So right. did all of that. We came back home and we were trying to find somebody that knew the paperwork that we needed. Mm. 
and we knew we couldn't, the lawyers, we talked about three lawyers, they didn't know what paperwork we needed. Right. What was it? Well, his problem was he was, he, he liked us as people. Right. Right. And the problem was he didn't want to um, trigger his uh, do on sale clause. Okay. Right. Right. By by doing some type of paperwork with us. Mm -hmm. Now, wise investors would have known what paperwork to work that out, but we weren't wise investors yet. Mm -hmm. We weren't even investors yet. So, um, it took some time had passed, and we started to we talk, We thought we were going to do the because uh, it's very similar to uh, a lease to own lease to own agreement. Right. Um, so, uh, or what I think uh, owner finance and owner seller finance. Yeah. Okay. So it, it, it's very similar to that, but it's for the commercial side. Right. And it's one one little sheet of paper. Mm. Of course, right. <laughs> a few little lines on it, <laughs> and it covers everything. Mm. You know, and it's it's called a master lease. It's a simple, okay. A simple piece of paper that he didn't know. Right. As the owner of the community, and that I didn't know as the person coming in back trying to buy. Right. So he was trying to, and he was really trying to help us out. But mm -hmm. get rid of his problem at the same time because like, it wasn't on the market. It wasn't, wasn't on the market. market. No. Yeah, it no. came in from the yellow letter. No. It wasn't on the market, and okay, yeah. <laughs> so that's how you got into yeah uh, the mobile home. Like, all right, these numbers work. Um, and it was off the deal. Okay. <laughs> I was I didn't know you owned two of them. I didn't know you owned two. That was my next question. Okay. That part. Okay. All right. So, how, why you lost the deal? He started searching around. Was scared to do the. I don't know. Yeah. Let, let's just. <laughs> well, it was. It just appeared ignorant. We just didn't know what to do. And this is. You're talking about this time. Right. Mm -hmm. So every day that goes by, he's owning this property, but he's trying to figure out a solution. Right. So what I'm assuming is someone came to him with the solution. Right. Um, and it was a real estate agent came to him with the solution, and we showed him what the numbers were, broke it down to him, and they put it on the market for I think one point, one point seven million. Mm. And I could have got it for seventy five thousand. Oh. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> <laughs> <He's tired. laughs> Oh, and he was like, and he was like, he because he liked us so much. He was like, listen, if this agent falls through and she can't and she can't do what she says she's gonna do, we'll talk. We're still working. We'll we'll work some stuff out. And it fell three months went by, mm -hmm. and it fell through, and what well, kind of fell through? And she was like, yeah, let me get let me, extension. Let me get extension. What's that? I don't understand. You know, she didn't want to lose that deal either. She right. that work. So it's like, let me get extension. So eventually, they ended up selling it. I think if I have a two extensions, they end up selling it though. So, but we're still in contact to this day though. Okay, yeah, that means that's awesome. He, he actually owns a couple parks. So, we, right, we talk now. Okay. <laughs> like, you want to sell any more about 75? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he knows better now. Right, oh yeah. He, yeah. Went, and bought, he went and bought some more park. He's getting out of the park game and he sold that one. And went <laughs> right, because he's probably like, if I can find, because he, I'm assuming other part owners know other part owners. Yeah. So he was just like, all right, well, I got a million dollar check. Mm -hmm. Let me go buy this up and then get my agent to resell it now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm assuming that that was super eye opening for you all. <laughs> so what, so what, what kept you going after, after getting that? Shut down? Yeah, after um, uh, uh, blessings like, like, like any other. Right. You know, uh, there's a gentleman who we were looking on Facebook Craigslist one of the two at the bring given. And you know, the gentleman had a property for like 1500 bucks. And before this, it was a mobile home. We were driving just trying to find mobile home parks in our area. Okay. They're not, they weren't all listed. Right. So we were trying to drive around. We ran into this park. When I say I was like, oh, this looks like money. It's, it was a, like the entire park was abandoned. Right. This is like gorgeous. I was just, it, I was in love. I was like, this looks like so much bad. I come from a construction background. Right, right. So I just see what could be what I know with a little bit amount of money. Mm -hmm. So um when we went to go look at it, we went to go look at an individual mobile home. Okay. So not the park, just an individual mobile home. And we went and looked at it, it was I think it was fifteen hundred bucks, right? Which one? The first one we looked at in town mall. We went to go look at 
no, we went to go to Columbus first. You went to Columbus first? That was because we couldn't get in contact with the owner of Town Hall. Um, right. And then we right. faced the that full circle that was. We went to Columbus, mm -hmm. talked to somebody, and did a whole deal. I was like, oh, okay, I'll get one. He got one. Um, so we had to like put them out and all of that. Right. So we did the eviction, bought one for like 1500 So it was like, okay, great. We got our first home. The next week came around. And the, the property that we saw, the abandoned part, now had a wholesaler like managing it. Yeah. Because that's what you would consider him. Huh? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what his title is. Yeah. yeah, but that's what he was doing. Right. So he yeah. had gotten the so, deal before we did. Right. Okay. And he then sold it to us because he contacted him to something. He always put an ad out. He put a thousand and one ads out. It was a post. An ad. I'm not like a marker. You are. <laughs> <laughs> so in that conversation, he went back up there and was like, we're driving, and he's like, I'm like, is this the same park we passed up? Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, we get there, and it was. So we looked at still it. Abandoned, too. Still abandoned, too. Still abandoned. Looked at it. Um, I came back home. I think he went back up there the next day. Right. And called me, and I was like, I got seven properties. You know what? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm just I'm doing the numbers in my head without 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 being that educated. Without even outside of education, just just like basic numbers. Okay. If I show my 10 or 12 year old son basic numbers, right? Those basic numbers make sense to me. Okay. And I was hungry, I was itching to right. invest. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm I'm Let's jump because right. I'm like I'm not gonna do nothing to jeopardize my home on purpose. Right. So I was hoping this one <laughs> <one of them, laughs> would jeopardize the house on this one. Right. And you know it worked out. It worked out very well. We in in that process we ended up getting one that we're you know thankfully we got a, a large amount of cash off. Okay. Um, and that wasn't um, that really wasn't our why we wanted it. You know we still going in because we couldn't own the park okay yeah we could only own the box we still wanted the long-term play right 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 we seem like what was you talking about four or five hundred dollars a month coming in on cash flow and i'm not in i'm not in uh like in stocks and, and have my money in 401k and things so right. i don't know like those numbers of interest that things pull in i'm just looking at it from my perspective perspective and i'm like I put in this, I get all my money back in six months. Right. I'm still making more money. See, simple stuff like that was mm -hmm. how it worked for us. It was always, uh, it's working. Right. Mm -hmm. No, it's not here. No. So, yeah, it's here. I think it's still on live. Yep, it's still on Cool. All right, so uh, it, the numbers made sense. Yeah. Uh, real estate investing. So came home with seven deals. Uh, what was the price on that? <laughs> like, so <laughs> fifteen times seven was that was just the purchase interest. What's, what's that number? Yeah, the number guys. Calculator. Calculator. So you don't have to have it all in your head. Yeah. Like, hey, these guys it seem like what 27 or so? 30? Uh 10 5. 10 5, yeah. Oh, they yeah, I'm way off. Yeah. So we're so we're 10 5 in the in the purchase. Okay, so they bought seven mobile homes for ten thousand five hundred dollars. Seven. Okay. Would not recommend anybody doing that. Okay. Please. Put that disclaimer out there. Do not. <laughs> not on your first deal. Not right. your first deal. By yourself. And you With had, no experience. Right. And you didn't at least watch the, this whole video. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so keep going right. throughout this video because I'm sure it's a lot of, uh, I know it's 
I've looked into a little bit of it and it's not the traditional go to the closing table type of deal. So, all right, so 10,500, how did we, well, I guess what's the next, yeah. So, well, since we wanted the cash flow, right. we had to determine how much it was gonna cost for us to put a tenant in. Right. Now, our first house, we try to do like we do regular houses. So we, you know, all the way yeah, we spent way too much money. Man. Way too much money. The second house, which was a double wide, this was our okay. this was our blessing house. <laughs> it was one of them like just because it's one of the scenarios you can't recreate. So we had a double wide. <clears throat> we had a gentleman who had who had been contacting us for at least two three months. Two three months. And, and when he first contacted us, I think he had like seventy thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what, what was happening is is that he had a certain amount of and you can't make this up he had a when he contacted us to buy this double wide he had 40 72 hours to spend twenty seven thousand mm. dollars and he had to spend it on the purchase of a home okay so where else you gonna spend twenty seven thousand and buy a whole house whole house right so you, you, you got to be in some type of affordable market right right so it was a blessing for us because we were at the point where he was like Listen, he had yeah. no and he was First like no yeah. and he's like well and we were i was in the middle of work and um he called us and like y'all have to start working he, yeah he said he's gonna whatever y'all whatever whatever is there is how he's buying it mm. he don't want y'all to do no more work mm. so absolutely and the electricity wasn't set up, nothing. Nothing was set up, nothing. Yeah, it was, it was a lot that wasn't done. But what it showed us it was there, what it was starting to show us that we didn't know, and that's the mindset portion, was there is a need bigger than what we could see. Right. We, there, we, we just can't see it walking around the streets of Gwinnett. Right. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. So I guess for the people that don't even know, what is a double Y? Oh, yeah. my bad. <laughs> Like, what are the different types of mobile homes? Like, not too much. So, yeah, well, just on the basis, most people have seen, uh, if you've seen a mobile home uh, and, and it doesn't look all up to par, mm -hmm. uh, it's usually generally an older model home. The newer model homes are mostly pretty kept right now. Okay. I mean, not to say older model homes aren't. Right. You know, that depends on what community you're in. But, uh, uh a single wide is is generally somewhere between 14 feet wide okay. and about 60 to 80 feet long. Right. And the double wide is double that. So you're looking at 20, 24, 22 of them. Right. Together. And that and you probably may have seen them going down the freeway. Yeah. You so they go like cut in half. Oversized yeah. trucks type of thing. Okay. Yeah. So those are, and, I mean, and you got modular and manufacturing, you got these different breakdowns on homes. We're not probably not gonna go into all of that, but this. Right. They're, they they kind of when you're looking for a mobile home, you'll kind of see those different different uh, different breakdowns. Different breakdowns, all right. So within that seven, you bought one some singles and some doubles, and we had we only had one double. One double. There was yeah. only one double in that community. Okay, and he was like, "I want it. I want it." Got he that. gave it the whole twenty-seven cash. Okay, yep. Ooh, so that was a good look. So <laughs> bought seven. My head already <laughs> bought seven for ten five and then sold one immediately. What about a month? About a maybe a month and a half. Yeah. And because we put in at least five. Five grand. Yeah, yeah. we might have put in at least five grand into that property. Right. Um, one right place, right time. So, but the so without selling that property, we still had that other problem where our cash we didn't have a whole bunch of cash. Okay. So ten thousand dollars is nice for us. That was like this goo poo cast. That was like, <laughs> like, why did you do that? Because <laughs> you still got, you know, you still got to invest more money. You're not even right. done. Oh, yeah. You still, now, now you got to pick something up and get some, and the materials ain't free, and nor is the labor. Right. Like, even my own labor ain't free. Time. It cost me big time. <laughs> you know, and we went in here, and most of those we fixed up ourselves. Okay. Uh, but we had some interest in extra strategies, extra strategies that saved us money, made us a lot of extra money. Too. Okay, good deal. So I guess we can move into um, the extra. Or how did you, is it like a certain contract that you use for all of those different seven or 
Yeah, I know y'all kind of didn't know what to do. With <laughs> no, <laughs> like, um, like, that part because they're older homes and Georgia's law, all of them are the same. Okay. Um, when we set the business up, um, and we finally knew that we were doing mobile home, I started just doing the paperwork because I had done business up three or four times already. Okay. So this time, um, I kind of researched and found what did I need to do for mobile home. So specifically, I went, uh, took us forever. Uh, what was it, downtown? Mm -hmm. He went downtown, and then I finally contacted the lady to get the information. But to buy and sell manufactured homes, you have to be, in order to sell more than one in a year in Georgia, you have to uh, have your license. Okay. So when he did that, I was like, well, we can buy them. You can, you can buy seven at 20, 30, but you can't sell no more than one. Mm. <laughs> so I went and I got that license. And when I got the license, um, we found out also that as long as it's under the year of, what's the year? Um, 76. 76. So um, you can do it on a bill of sale okay. if they don't have a title. Under 1976. Well, if it's under 1996, excuse me, but, okay. but you don't want to buy, you don't want to buy anything under 76 anyway. So we we'll get into that later. The mark office. Don't buy nothing under 76 because it, it definitely doesn't have a um, yeah, what do you call it? A title? No, a tag. Yeah, a tag after 76. That reminds me of the 1978 real estate law. Like, man, 1978, that base paint? Yeah. Um, okay. That's because HUD came in. Because HUD came in. Right, that's okay. why you couldn't, that's why they don't have tags. Uh, yeah. Same way. Yeah. So, all right. So, no <laughs> tag after, so don't even mess with no. 1976 and beyond. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Okay, you said license. What type of license? Is it a mobile home selling license? What, what? It's not called mobile home. It's manufacturer. Manufacturer dealer license. Manufacturer dealer license. So I need to get one of those in order to sell more than one yeah. in a year. Yeah. You got to take like a test or <laughs> just going yeah. that thing. The test, the test was fine in the office. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what that was a mouse trap. Because <laughs> nobody knows what you're talking about because a lot of people in Georgia buying, do not have them. They just buy like, like used cars, right? Like, mm -hmm. like, a, like a 76 Chevy. Okay. That 76 Chevy might have went through 30 hands in a bill of, through bill of sales mm -hmm. in Georgia. You know, and our manufacturer owns when they get to a certain age, they start getting treated in that retrospect. Okay. You know, a whole lot of taxes. They like, you, you get the one person that want to buy mm -hmm. by the law, and they're like, well, what? Pay taxes and they're like, oh, it's been about 10 years. <laughs> oh, oh, well, yeah. so you can catch if you do it wrong, you can catch one of those bills. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, you can get you a good two, three thousand dollar tax bill mm. if you weren't inspected, right? Because they just put out, okay, but that's due diligence like any other, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely gotta be educated, you can't just go out here and do things. So, you can put it on the bill of sale that you left off there. Uh, what other, what other and, paperwork? And that's if you don't have a title. But if you have a title, you usually pretty clear okay. um, with the bill of sale. So do the title, the bill of sale, and anything over ninety six. Make sure you got a title. Don't even look, don't even pay attention to it. If they don't have a title, it's a ninety six. It's just for your first house. It's just if, so if, if the deal ain't just smoking like the numbers off your head. It's not like some smoking high numbers. Just go on to the next deal. That's enough deals out there. No deals out there. Okay. So get the Went to them, hey, here's a bill of sale. Uh, I want to sell it seven of these properties to sign them away type of deal. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's how we bought ours. Okay. Yeah. Still do that to this day? To this day. Okay. Yeah. So then you need a bill of sale. <laughs> <laughs> the bill of sale, that sounds like a one page document type of It is. It is. Yeah. No, we use, no, we have our, had our attorneys go through all our documents. Gotcha. But at the beginning, our first seven, we got we got our education from Ronnie Scrub. So this is this is just a short plug because he had a lot of the information and the documentation that we needed to get started. Okay. Uh, so we took his uh, it's not a course, but we bought his online book. Okay. And at the at the, <clears throat> at the end of that, they have he has a lot of documentation that we need. Right. Some of that was 
it's not usable as we learn yeah, growing now. growing the business. Right. Even from the the helping you understand why someone had to file and fill out a promissory yeah. note. Right. Even though you may have some wording a little different, you know, having no promissory note is definitely not good. Right. You know, so, or whatever documentation you need. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm sure you can preach to the choir on documentation. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> the Make sure you put it on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, the, got the information, then you really use all of it. And sometimes, I'm glad you said that too, because a lot of times we get all the information, we want to use all of it instead of taking action. We'd be like, all right, well, let's figure this thing out without actually taking the first step to, yeah. you know, to find you, out if you what you need or don't. Right. You never use the document at all. Like, <laughs> I need all the documents. <laughs> well, what you need it for? You just need this, this the, the deal in the bill of sale right now. And, and most times, and, and I don't know if you go into a deal and you you had the wrong document, you won't do that twice. No. Right. If you like, if that was what held you from make, making five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars was the piece of paper you got wrong. Obviously, you know how to get the deal now. Right. You're not gonna make that mistake. You shouldn't. Hopefully You're in the not. wrong business. <laughs> right. So and then I'm, I'm sure the sellers they still want to sell. Like, all right, I have my yeah. attorney look over it. We need to change it. Same number, same thing. We just need to change this paperwork over. So is that cool? So just get started. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's the moral of that yes. um, section right there. Okay. Get started. Um, then what? Then what? Let's see. That. Where did that, where did that put us at? That put us at. Um, we finally. Finished in that part, and we started getting more calls okay. from other people because he's. I mean, at that point, you're like, okay, I got this. Um, you're getting a lot of calls. What I learned over the last almost two years is you get these calls, um, and while he's not answering the phone, I usually am. Okay. Um, you don't. So that's like a shot. Though. <laughs> 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 you have to have a certain level of compassion right? because the mindset is so drastically different from the buyer's end. So now I'm, we, we bought it. He's usually dealing with the uh, sellers and I'm usually dealing with the buyers. Okay. And the buyers are, I need somewhere to stay two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I'm in need. I only make this amount of money. And I might get fired next week. And I have three kids and I need somewhere to stay. Okay. So it's a total different mindset. It's like where I'm used to not really dealing with a lot of people to I'm I'm having to sit and listen to them because usually they want somebody to listen to them. Right. And it's hard to get them to finish filling out the paperwork properly. Um, but I'll, I'll stick with them. Hey, you know, how you doing? Uh, I even do the, you know, I got the little sticky note smile because I might not feel like smiling, but they need me to smile. Right. When I'm talking to them, they need to feel my energy is I'm listening to them because to be in a, in a state, it's, it's a mindset that all I know is they need to work Right. Um, and that's not all cases of mobile homes, but this is what I dealt with with these particular parts. It was, it was abandoned before we got there. So, so yeah. the, and there's no, and the reason we knew that that was a sweet spot is because the apartment complexes in that city were no, like, what, two? Yeah, there was, right. and there was nothing available. And nothing available. Mm. The, minimum, the minimum okay. rent was $1,200. So if I'm offering you. In the country. <laughs> and because he said this yeah. is a town of Gaines, Gainesville. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. country. Yeah. So the need was there. Mm. They didn't have anywhere to go, and they see, oh my gosh, it's somewhere that's available that's in my price range. Right. So when you run into pockets like that, you have to understand. And I'm like, okay, I can charge less than the apartment complex. You get your own place to stay. And like it's just you feel a void that a lot of people don't even think about feeling. Extended stays. When yeah. I tell you, oh, oh. They, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> because we they are charging 
almost five hundred dollars a week in comedy. Oh yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> so you're talking about I get my check and I, you know, I got a hundred dollars to eat for the week. Like that's it. Right. Maybe. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So when they're calling me, they like, yo, I got I had a check coming up, and if you can catch me. I can make sure I can get you your down payment because all I'm usually asking for is maybe $1,200 down payment, okay. maybe $2,000, depending on how much work we put in. Okay. Because our AV strategy is how soon can I get my money back um, over the shorter time frame. Right. So not to hurt the buyer, but to make sure that I cover my investment. Yes. So um, I have to have the compassion with the business. And that's right. something that you... You don't get too often, but right. it's needed um, for me and my business and right. how we structure. So it it when you start looking and looking at the extended stays and the properties around it, it the numbers get real nasty, and you're like, oh, I can solve a problem. Right. I can really solve a problem. All right. So you sold a double wide for twenty seven. Took some of that money to fix up the other one. Yep. Um, probably like two or three thousand. For for two or three thousand. So how much? Are you gonna guess the yeah, game going to? Yeah, Right. So how many? <laughs> <laughs> so the first one you said you after you sold the one you put too much into it. Yeah. So that was before the double wide. That was before the double wide. Okay. We probably put we probably put eight dollars, six, seven. It was, it was between I say five, but it might have been more because he's been um. Because I think he has started playing. <laughs> he oh, get the swipe there. And, oh, and we like, um, what in the world? So yeah, it might have been about eight. It, it might have been about eight. So I got, I'll start to look. I got one of my uh, productivity tips. <laughs> hey man, you can't be on social media for too long. Yeah, I got the same so thing. I got, I got the timer thing, thing on it. Okay, now I'm going to let me. All right. Let's see. All right. So, yeah, um, how much? No. So, you put 8,000? Okay. I think I'm back on there. And then. Come back on. Y'all let me know. Or did I ever put it on? I think it's still on there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, put 8,000 in. Uh, and then what you, what was the extra on that one? What you sold that one for? The, uh, the ones after that. The ones after, yeah. Everything was sold on notes after that. Notes, okay. Yeah. Let's talk about notes then. Yeah, I love the notes. <laughs> I love the notes. Like, so, it's, it's like the notes. <laughs> so pretty much uh, all seven of them, you um, put money into it and then you sold it on the art. Right, so what's the note? So uh, a note is a promissory note. Okay. Right. So we 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 sell them um, and give them ownership of the property. Right. So I I try to make this numbers as basic because this is how I understand. Right. Them. Yeah. So I'm not that I can go up that high with them. So I can just keep base. Here we go. So I like it where if okay. So if I put five thousand dollars into a property mm -hmm. in a mobile home. And okay. the lot rent is let's say four hundred bucks. Okay, right. And five thousand dollars, my all in is ready to go, it's fixed up, right? All right. And then I, I want to, with those two numbers, I can start to play. I can start to understand what I'm doing with my investment, right? Yeah. Because I, the lot rent got to be paid, right? I don't want to sell for five thousand dollars. I I got five thousand dollars into it. Right. Okay. The houses in that area sell for somewhere about twenty one to twenty seven, thirty thousand. Okay. Right. But you say house like you're talking about mobile homes. Okay. Mobile homes inside of a mobile home community. Okay. Um, are in that area will sell for about twenty one to twenty seven thousand. Okay. So, so say if I you know you you're five thousand dollars in, um you. You, I would, I like to recoup at least four hundred dollars a month. Okay. Top. So that means the tenant needs to pay at least eight eight hundred dollars a month, right? So because those numbers, like four hundred dollars a month, lets me know that okay, four hundred times ten is that's that's ten months, two more months. So I have all my money back in a year. Right. My cash on 
So my cash on cash, I get 100% cash on cash on cash, on cash on cash on cash. On cash, on cash, on cash. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm cool with that. Right. But what we found out, like, it's, it's happening way faster than 12 months. Mm. Because of the need that's happening right now. So that's what we did on that one. And what we found out afterward is where we started doing handyman specials. Okay. And this is when it started to get cheap. This is where we went from spending the eight thousand dollars in repair costs right. to zero. Or at least two to three. And zero in some cases. And some cases. And so what's the what's the handy? Handyman special. Yeah, what's the handyman special? <laughs> and I'm like, man, we went from what paying eight to zero. Like yeah, that's that's a big gap. Big gap. Big gap. There's so many other gems that that you said. I'm meant to. I need to write this stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everyone. So he, he said he said lot rent. Uh, and we're gonna come back to these because I want to hear the handyman special. Just lot rent. And your cash. Your cash in. Um, cash in, and then. Your, your the comps, pretty much. We call it comps in the property. So you bought it for five, but you can sell it for 27. Mm -hmm. So we get back to that, um, oh, too, good. like how you even find the comps and how you know much, how much it work. Okay. All right, so handyman special. I just need somebody to help me. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good, 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 good. Uh, we'll get to go. But, uh, so a handyman special in our world is someone that can look at what you have and say, okay, I can do the rest. And I'll do the rest based on these type of terms. Okay. Simple as that. Oh, your turn. Right. So, so from my perspective, if I buy for if I buy for fifteen hundred dollars, and you go in as a handyman, and you need somewhere to stay, and you say, you know what, I can do the rest of this. Mm -hmm. Now that may be good, maybe not. But at the beginning, it's something you definitely need to consider because if if you could, if if you can still gonna give me. Say, let's say I'm only gonna get five hundred dollars now, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say you, you give me five hundred dollars a month, uh, you know, give me five hundred dollars now. So let's say um, so I'm a, I get a thousand dollars from you. Right. I got you know uh, uh, what's name got to go to four and got to go directly to block. Right? right. So I'm still making six hundred. If you pay for making a thousand, I'll still be making six hundred dollars a month. Right. But the rest of that money that he has to spend on deposits and all the other stuff. You know, he can put into renovating this. He or she can put in renovating their home. Their own home. You know what I'm saying? Versus or versus giving you fifteen thousand or ten thousand or seven thousand dollar down payment yeah. for it or for it already being ready. Mm -hmm. Right. So you're saving time, energy, and money. And they and and, and, they, and, and, and they probably they're not gonna do it to what I was gonna do to it. They're right. gonna do it to their standard. So they may not spend as much money as I was as I was gonna spend to it okay. for their cost of standard cost of it. Right, you know, because it's gonna be theirs yeah. anyways at the end of it, unless they, but if they put the work into it and then default on the loan, yeah. there, but just come back, and, yeah. but you would have got paid six hundred dollars more. Already, that means you start the process again. I like it, so you just put it extra on top of the rent, mm -hmm. pretty much, and pay it off long term and make it work. Right. Now we only, I think, out of all properties we have, we only had to do one eviction. The little model. Out of all the properties we have, <laughs> we've only had to do one eviction. Yes. Okay. And that is like, because I'm pushing, like, how long you mean? Right. Like, so are you sure? There's problems so every month. Talk to right. me and I can work with you because I don't want to redo paperwork. I don't want to go look for somebody else to come stay in there. Right. That's not what I'm in the business for. Right. Besides, you can stay in there, please. Like, let me know. So I kind of push that really hard to communicate with me. If you got a problem, let me know on the 29th. Right. Don't let me know on the 7th. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. Just let me know in advance so right. I'll know what to expect from you. Right. And majority of them do. Some of them I still got to call on the 6th. Like, what happened? They're like, oh, such and such and such and such happened. And I'm like, okay, good, great. I hit you on Friday. When, when can we get the rest of the pay? But right. we literally, like, we've had some people catch up, like, $2,000 catch up. Mm. Now, I, I still foul, right. but because there's such a backlog, um, right yeah, there's sure. such a backlog, it gives them time to know that I'm serious, but I'm working with you. Right. Like, come on. So, yeah. Okay. Mm. That part. <laughs> So one eviction out of what, 10 years? No, uh, 10, not 10 years. 10 units. 10, 10 units. 
Yeah, so okay. To oh, that okay. first. Yeah. Part. Yeah. Got right. us? Yes. No, no, no. I, I see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just leaving the court. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right. So that was just yeah, that. Yeah, we foul. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but okay. I'll go back, and when they pay, like I'll go the same day and go cancel it. Okay. Okay. So we had we canceled all of them. But one. You got the you got the file. Right. You got the file. But then they won't be. Yeah. Feel like they're taking me seriously. Like, oh, we got some time. And that's what I learned. I learned that from, from your world. So like, you got to, <laughs> if people ain't if people ain't, ain't paying, you got your job is to do your job. It's not, you know, yeah, I, I feel you 100%. Right. And I'm hoping you fix this. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like an automatic. Like, you know, you don't pay something and then automatically, like, the water come and get your tax. You right. Know, yeah. Yeah. Almost I'm automatic. Sure Right. <laughs> now you don't charge the extra credit back up. Right. Yeah. You know, <laughs> when you's already hurting for right. <laughs> how does that work? You know, $150 on top of that. But hey, so man, fee gotta set those expectations, like I was saying earlier. But those handyman specials worked out. Okay. And we ended up getting a few more homes in that in that in that park. I think by the we may have done to where like 10, 12, I guess, throughout that community. Um we ended up getting one in there that was a good rental, a right. good rental, and we still got that rental, and it's it's a good deal, but they stopped paying last month. No, they kept they caught up. It's yeah. just <laughs> it's one of those right processes. But we, we we got it for we didn't pay any money for it. Okay, right, and um, we had they went up getting two of those properties where I say yeah you can get it at zero dollars. But that's because we had already bought seven. We built a relationship. And right. We're like, hey, you want this one too? Right. Yeah, so I would not yes. recommend walking up in somebody's park and property and saying, hey, can I get a park property for free? <laughs> and expect them. Now, you can do that, but expect them to just be like, yeah, here you go. I don't know who you are. Yeah, I might get you one for free. Right. But it was a relationship and a fast one. Right. So this isn't like we, we how much money we made him over the long Ooh, term the park owner park owner is happy all right yeah because y'all said it was vacant so it seemed like y'all yeah. went through like all right we know how to do this half the park we filled up half the park and yeah. i would i would even go as far i'm gonna say it <laughs> I, I would even go as far as say we we definitely helped fill up the entire community mm. because no one was interested in this community until we started going in and investing and just because socially I just I I just post up, so not nothing good. I'm just posting the stuff that I'm doing that day. It's so, good stuff. I'll be like, man, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta understand it. So uh, <laughs> somebody was wise enough to come out there, right? Okay. And they started investing in the properties I wasn't buying. Now I didn't have. I had no idea on how to source money. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew how to. Source. I'd have bought every, every property in there. I think it was twenty something. You probably told the owner that you bought. said the owner was happy um that brings me to that good lot rent so pretty much the owner was just he had a vacant property probably didn't want to deal with it honestly but mm -hmm. possibly owned it sounds like he owned the land i don't know the story mm -hmm. you know owned land maybe got passed down i don't want nothing to do with it um but then y'all come in a vacant lot and now you said the lot rent was 400 or 200. that lot rent was 350. 350. Yeah. So in order for the what's lot rent? I'm mean, gonna okay. try to explain it, but I'm like, let me <laughs> what's lot rent? Okay, yeah. Well lot rent is <laughs> so so no lot rent is the the rent that you pay to the lot owner and the lot owner is the person who owns that land. I own the box, right? I go and buy the box, you own the land, I pay you every month. Right. So there's this. What's supposed to happen is that me and you, mm -hmm. we're supposed to be buddies now. Right. Right. Because my interest and your interests are very much aligned. Right. Right. I'm bringing in a tenant that's paying you. It's what's just paying both of us. Right. Right. So it. I. This is a part that I think most first-time mobile home investors do about. Is that this part got to be. Trying to find the deals online is cool, but you're going to go through someone who already 
probably pro a wholesaler or someone who's already processed that deal. Right. And then looking for your first deal that may not be in your pocket. I don't know, you know, everybody's pocket is a little different. Right. But if you try to sell that ten thousand dollar range, the wholesaler is probably gonna be in the way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. They don't hit that up. So like the Facebook marketplace, Craigslist, things like that. Yeah. Oh, they probably already marked that thing up. And then okay. But the groups. Okay. The, the groups, you can talk, but you can't go in there like no weirdo though. <laughs> right. Don't be in there trying to like gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give you got to go like you gotta be genuine. You got to ask some real questions. You got to be respectful of how that that atmosphere atmosphere operates, right? And you can get some you can get some good information, some heavy information. You can get some sweet deal deal, right? <laughs> Y'all have a group, right? Y'all yeah. made okay. So By yeah. force, it was because he was getting DM. She don't like me getting DM. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting DMs. By the dozen, you talking about in a week. Mm. Like, hey, you know, what do y'all do? And then on the other side is, hey, I see you got a property for sale. So now we're talking about we're almost two years in, <laughs> and he can't refresh his DM. Mm. I don't know if everybody, anybody has ever experienced that. It just circles. I can the circle spin. Man. So <laughs> you can't read any message if you're not already friends with him. Mm. So I have to go into the computer and literally go on Facebook and like mass respond to people mm. because we're getting up. Sometimes I can go through at least 15, 20 messages in a day. Mm. So this is the need and just the small areas that we're in, right. we're like five cities. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so even just the five cities that we're in, it's it's a need right so this and if you look around nobody's building affordable homes it's not what's on the market that's not what's on the ticket you see new houses going up you see new construction new commercial but nobody's making affordable housing in their target for building fourteen thousand dollar houses out there no 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 fourteen thousand you can't even maybe not even do uh um barely can get rent for that yeah um right now <laughs> a lot of people uh kind of like yeah i want i want to rent and i'm like man ain't nothing really starting under yeah. 1200 for sure yeah. um so for rent okay. oh yeah and we don't our company don't does not rent but uh i still get a lot of questions hey mm -hmm. i need someone to rent for x amount i'm like oh it's tough, but the interest rates are low. With I'm like, we'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those worlds because mobile home can mobile home the boxes themselves can seem like you're not in real estate investing, right? It, but you are because it's the mindset you you're working on, mm -hmm. you know. And this is why I say get that first box, right? And that, that how to get started, get the first box because it's like. I want you to understand the process of, of mm -hmm. what's going on. You know, now you get to talk to the park owner, right. park manager. You get to understand, you know, what management is like, right. what, what materials like, dealing with contractors. You get all that chaos and still get to freaking make money, though. In the box. <laughs> all that chaos crap. In the box. <laughs> with <a> dog, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's also yeah. the lot rent. Start making like at, at seven. You know, I'm sure it's negotiable. You bought seven of them. So like until we get these built up, then don't turn in the lot because like, you want to get in no oh, way yeah, that type of deal. Mm -hmm. Or or it would have been like, all right, I got seven new properties. I need what did you say? Three, three hundred, mm -hmm. three hundred times seven. So now the park managers um net operating income increase yeah exactly. without having to do anything because right. the, the boxes for them are a liability right right so they want they just they just want that lot rent to be secured on paper for an extended period of time so they go to the bank tell the bank hey i need to refinance get my get my loan value i'm boom 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 all my now they've recouped all their money right you know hundreds of thousand dollars versus five or six thousand dollars we're making from the box from the box that's a bigger play Right, the entire community. 
So yeah, that's that's leading to segue <laughs> to the, the park owner. Just <laughs> 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 wanted to break that down a little bit. Um, okay, so now the park owner and their operating income increase um, just by selling those. Going into all right, so comp in in the real estate world, we say comp like yeah. but buy a house. For two hundred thousand dollars and something else sold for two fifty, got like five uh, fifty thousand in equity. So they bought seven for fifteen hundred. So we're just gonna say one was fifteen hundred uh, to fix it up. And if you did the handyman special, let's let's just say let's I say let's say it was fifteen hundred and you had to put five thousand in. Put five thousand in. So you got a, a nice renovation for five thousand dollars. So, so you all in for sixty five hundred. All in for sixty five hundred. Okay, and that's very like okay, <laughs> very reasonable. I'm getting renovated on my house right now. <laughs> one floor in the bathroom costs five thousand dollars. <laughs> so we did that too. <laughs> so but most of the material you put in your bathroom, we're not putting in this. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so we learned from their first lesson. They put way too much money in two. On the property, so now they they learn from that lesson. And now, all right, we just need uh, the bare minimum, or I don't want to say it like that, but um, well, how much will we charge yeah. on the exit? Right. I mean, it's again because it's because we're selling it to an any man. Right. If I'm selling to someone who I know who's going to live there. Right. Okay. Safety, the state is the same. Right. Right. Two. Like I'm not saying a a, a, a single parent father who doesn't go doesn't do any construction thing what he do right you know he don't pick up screws out yeah i'm not telling him a house that he got to hook the water up and kind of, you know mm -hmm. some, put floor in there mm -hmm. he needs something that's that's great right right okay. uh, it costs more but i mean cost is still relative to what you need right it's not a deal for him to get it at a lower price if he had going to do all the work right yeah <laughs> but you just got you got that and 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 because we're in that area where, where we could do that, we were able to do it quickly. So even in that small sector of seven to ten property, right, we were able to see what what we different areas we could plan. And we had won the cash flow in all of them. Right. Okay. But we still want to keep making money month to month. Only thing I think we kind of mess up on is is we ain't charge them enough. Mm. Because so we, what was your charge? What? Because we saw the first set, the first few for. Ten or twelve thousand, and we was like, uh, right. So because mm -hmm. we didn't know comps, right? No, okay, okay, we didn't know comps. So put five thousand in them, sold it for ten to twelve. That was owner finance, or they gave you straight cash. That was owner owner finance. I mean, or note. Mm -hmm. um, so you noted it out. Yeah, and, oh. and they put a decent. Those were probably like fifteen hundred two thousand dollars deposit. Okay, so fifteen hundred two thousand dollars deposit is and paid for the. Mm -hmm. First initial um, right. yeah. thing for my perspective. <laughs> right, purchase, yeah. right. Yeah. purchase do put the money and then you get the rest over over time. Mm -hmm. So do you pay the rent? It's rent comps and then it's like housing comps. So I guess it's plain. So so and the now we're talking not the so the the purchase price. I only way I knew really what the, to sell the house for was putting it on the market. Okay. I man, I tried to look in those books. They got a whole book for the whole house. And I was like, bro, my right, place is about five hundred dollars for this thing. I'm like, no. Nah. So because so really what happens is it's worth what someone's willing to pay for. Okay. And that's right. This, this is and some people may disagree with that. Mm -hmm. And I've and I've heard people disagree with me on he that. <laughs> interest rate I charge. Right. So we 
charge twelve. We're not get our money back in those four years. But well, yes. It was, we would be getting paid. For getting paid. The cash for months. Four years. years. Okay, on that one. Yeah. yeah. Our money's coming back in twelve months. Oh, oh, really? Oh, that money's coming back in twelve months. <laughs> I'm not getting into a deal. I got to wait more than twelve months. Okay. Because with the numbers are too low. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about three, five, ten thousand dollars. Yeah. I need that back. Yeah, I need that back. I need that back. Plus the interest. So, yeah. Oh, the interest is way too good. Uh, all right, let's. <laughs> <laughs> now, I had to tell I don't know what the interest is. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's higher interest. So, on, yeah, it's a bigger rate. It's a bigger rate. Okay, rate. right. So, we generally charge, we charge 12.75. Okay. Now, that's that's low compared to what, what I've seen. And I thought we were high at that point. Right. But I, I was, still think we have, but he'd be like, no, you better not try to not let well, yeah, because but, of the risk. Yeah, I don't yeah. understand. And, and we we've used that risk. Yeah. You know, that risk has have, has come to play before. Right. Where, you know, and, and so um no more than twelve months. Um they put fifteen hundred down or twelve to fifteen hundred down. Uh and then I'm you sold it for 12, so you divide that by 12 mm -hmm. to get their rent. So it's the the rent plus the lot rent, yeah. Yeah, or that's, that's they take that out of the... So as a manager, as an owner, you can take it both ways. Okay. All right. So you can, we, as you can kind of elaborate on which, which one works better, but you can do it where they pay the lot rent and the and your, your note, Okay. both to you. Right. Right. Or they can send... It two separate ways, right? She was better. It depends. <laughs> I personally like the responsibility to be put on the tenant okay. of um, being able to pay. If I come in and buy somebody's property out their park, and you pay me for the property, you pay them for the lot rent because I want you to get used to paying them for the whole time that you're here. Right. Mine is only temporary. Theirs is as long as your property is on their property. Makes sense. Um, the other way around for me, uh, especially now being a park owner, it's the risk. Being a park owner, I understand why I would want to solely uh, put the liability on one person. Okay. Uh, but knowing how they operate, I would still charge just the tenant. Um, that's just my personal preference. I would still do two separate payments. Two separate right. from being a park owner. But I understand why some would want to just charge the person that I'll probably get the money out of and that's the investor. Right. Uh before I would the tenant. Right. So that's kind of how I like to play it, but it really depends on the park owner yeah. and what they allow. Because everybody can go play on what there's no book on. <laughs> <laughs> I had to run them over on park. Right. This is a book. Y'all might be great. Yeah. <laughs> this is a book in the world. <laughs> I'm about to say, I'm about to say that. You <laughs> might need to write when document that. Uh, but it, it really is. It depends on the park owner. And a lot of these parks are so grandfathered in. Right. Because then they don't even write down their lot rent. Like, mm. They just know Bobby and Bobby pay on Friday. And then right. Susie pay on Monday. Right. So, Get yep, they walk yes. around and get it. And I'm like, no, you send me your payment via system and I'll check and see if it came in. Right. I'll pick up my check. And it's like two people that now check in. So they like, no fees too high. And I'm like, okay. Right. Check in. Yeah, I'll cash it. <laughs> <laughs> I can say from both perspectives, uh, lot rent, especially both of you owning owning the park. So we have one LLC or corporation getting this, they can cash off from that, and then you keep it separate with yeah. the other one. But it could be a headache trying to get both of them too, so I can I definitely see. <laughs> um, but leveraging wise, it looks like yeah. hmm. cool. And we still cash flow out that out of that community. Still that several in that that one, the very first one. Okay, still cash flow out of it. So, uh, out of how do you still cash? Oh, people keep coming in and out. Well, no 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 
Oh, okay, okay. They only own the two. They only own the notes for two years. Okay. Most of these notes are five years. Uh, uh, so let's say we own ten. Okay. Uh, in one community, you're looking at four thousand dollars a month in cash. Right. Um. It's not long before you get your money back unless you put twenty thousand dollars to your property. Right. So, um, you know, that's why I think when, when I was doing that math, it just made so much sense to me. Right. Because I was looking at what I was, what I'd be making with a house and the liability of the house. Right. I had to get an inspection. I had to go through stickers and red tape. With these mobile homes inside these mobile home communities, not on land, specifically inside a mobile home community, my tape is long. Mm -hmm. So I can move and shake fast. Right. And I need to be to do that when I'm talking about spending three, five, five. I don't need to be seven weeks trying to wait on the answer. <laughs> right. 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 Right now with the courthouse. Yes. <laughs> and if you, if, especially if you're using your own money. Right. right. Yeah. Some people are smart enough or even have access. To use other people's money, and they knew that they know that from the beginning. Right, right. No clue for me, right? So you know, if you have that actually, you use someone else's funds. This is a good way to make sure you get somebody's money back. Right. That makes sense. It's hard. It's you have to really jack up to to mess up one of these. Like you really, you have to make a really. When I say that, because there's what happens is you just you need to elongate time a little bit. Right. Versus like a, a house. Talking about two hundred fifty thousand dollars, that's gonna add up. That those numbers start to add up and mess around. Those interests and stuff, they, they start to add up and move around quick. Right, payments every month. Yeah, that stuff starts to get messy. Mm -hmm. Every year, every twelve months, she got the tag. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, all right. So I guess we can wrap this up. Yeah, still cash flow, park park rent, no rent. Um, and I think the biggest thing is like you only have one rental, everything else is no, so you don't have to take care of the property, you don't have to do no toilets, no tenants, you pay more money or get out, no maintenance at all. Yeah, I love that, and we make like, that strict, <laughs> I and I it. love it, yeah. and we do too, because you gotta understand most of these people, most when I say most, probably about 75 percent have never owned their own, right? Period. And you stay with somebody, their parents, or et cetera. So they love the ownership factor of I get to paint it, I get to do, and I've had some that come in and you come back well, and I'll be like, so they care about that. Right. Um, so what that did for me is when we, so now I know what to do with my own. Right. So now I'm like, oh, this is how you do it. You know, you throw a neighborhood party and you keep the neighborhood clean as you make sure that they care about their own property. Right. Um, and that's just something that you like you install into them as a um a, what what are they? We just manifest no, what do you mean you buying the property? Operator. Yeah, I guess so. When you buying it from the park owner. Or vice versa, you building in the park, but you just the design person. Yeah, but <laughs> as the seller to the last end buyer, you right. want to make sure that they know like this is yours, right. and they get excited because it's theirs. Right. So it's kind of I like making sure I say that a lot. Like, yo, no, this is your property. You can paint it. You can change the roof if you want to. Whatever you want to do. Whatever this community allows. Okay. Yeah, and inside the gotcha. regulation. Right. So, like some HOAs or like the yeah. association. Yeah, that's what that's, that's what the that's what the lot rent is. For the lot rent. So whatever yeah. the lot rent clause is, yeah. that's what they got to hold to. They have okay. so much fence areas. So how many ever pets they have to have them put into certain spaces. Right. So there's you know, you have regulations and they're not super strict, but they're enough to make sure that you don't have police in your community right. every other night. Yeah, so. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Cool. So that was your first few properties. Yeah. Um, during the pandemic, you got <laughs> purchased the mobile home park now. Yeah. So they getting a lot rent. I'm talking about earlier. Okay, so how did the <laughs> <laughs> so how did you do that? Right. So how did you uh you know take that leap of faith? I'm sure you did a whole bunch of more deals in yeah. between trying to condense yeah. it down a little bit. So now 
you got the park owners um, getting lot rent, and do y'all own the trailers too, or y'all just leasing those to? So we bought a value add community. Okay. Right. And when I say bought, now we did acquire. It sounds weird to even say, but we did acquire this community with zero dollars. Zero dollars down. Yeah, we put. <laughs> But we we put we definitely put That's time yeah time and effort into to getting it because it there was probably when my partner got into the deal mm -hmm. um, it was supposed to have a certain amount of houses already pulling in lot rent I oh. think he only had one or two tenants okay that, that day. So now we're at about eighty-five percent capacity. Okay. Now. So we're doing we're, we're we're doing we're doing a lot better. Um, we could be at a hundred percent because we have a, a, such a huge need. Right. But um, honestly, I'm 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 running out of funds because of all our funds we put our money in our own stuff. Right. Right. So to be able to keep self-funding things is <laughs> you start to lose money. Not right. lose money, but you, you don't have any more physical money to put in. Right. So, and that's why we started getting into really using someone else's funds because okay. we had no more of our own to use. And um, because there was little to no, no income coming in at that park at all, for us to be able to get it up so fast, we were doing handyman specials. Right. Uh, we did one flagship home and it was beautiful. Right. And one with the attract everybody. Oh, man, we get sweet hundreds of messages a day. Mm -hmm. Got anything available in the middle of Tennessee? Tennessee, yeah. yeah. I remember you going up there, getting stuck in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> I got tickets paid. That was super funny. Uh, that was a <laughs> But four wheel drive we trucks. Got that twice. Yeah, because we ain't got a four wheel drive truck. I don't know what you got. I don't, it's no, it's no point of getting one. I guess, man. Now I know what's the point of having one. I say, yeah. All, if all four wheels don't turn, <laughs> we're in the mud. You know, don't lie. <laughs> so, hey, that's not fault. Every way, every way. <laughs> <laughs> um, but cool. So now you got it. Now you said value add, yeah. but pretty much you want to break it down. Yeah. Cool. So our that our we only want to get uh, the way we invest. We only only get in the situations where we can add value, right? To recoup that money uh, in profit. Right. So this particular part, because it once we got in the deal, he had he didn't have anybody living there. Right. He had a whole bunch of properties, so they weren't vacant lots, open lots. These were vacant homes. Oh. Huge difference from a vacant lot. Mm. Right. Vacant lot, you got to bring something there. Right. A vacant home is a nightmare to some. Right. Right. But to us, they're they're treasures, right? right? Because we know with ten thousand dollars on these boxes, we can make them just as pretty as the new one they're gonna buy for seventy, eighty thousand dollars, right? So it's like when when the park owner, when the park owners or this particular investor didn't really, I, I think they didn't really know that that option existed, mm -hmm. and I think and that's why we came together, right? So we were able to provide something that he could provide, and he was able. To, he was already in a deal that we didn't have. Right. Okay. Right. So it was the, the mutual benefit worked out, and it's working out. Right. So now we're going to our second. Okay. So he owns multiple parts too, or no, he, to, oh, he's, wow. he's a school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, right. That's how most park owners are. Really? Yeah. And, you know, especially first time investors, they're just especially now. Right. These are just. Regular nine to five, you know, people got a couple dollars to, to do something. So, okay. So, value add, they came in the property. There's only like two tenants there. Yeah. But everything was, how many? Uh, There's 24. 24 lots. Yeah. Only two was vacant. No, only two was vacant. I mean, two, two was filled. Mm -hmm. So, pretty much they're going in and adding people into it so they can get the lot rent and are y'all keeping the houses too, or so? Um, no boxes. So we, <laughs> we, we set it up. We set it up like our our agreement is that we're doing this particular part where we're making the money. We're we're keeping the cash flow from on top of the boxes. Okay. And then all of the money that comes in from the investment after my investor at least 
pay back. We're splitting all that in the equity of the property. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're going to go back. That's why it's so imperative for us. I don't really, I'm not really, really concerned about the little cash flow coming in from the boxes. Right. So I'm willing to discount the boxes because I want to get us to the point where in, you know, 12 months of history, we can take this money to the bill, we can take this to the bank and they'll refinance it. There you go. That's what pretty much doing. they yeah. they're taking yes. the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I got super excited. Man. Beyonce be like, baby, and angry. Like, uh, all right, so pretty much, I don't know what the value is, but say for instance, they got it for fifty thousand dollars. Now, or the net operating income coming in for fifty thousand dollars, mm -hmm. they gonna take it, put all these people in place, fill up all the boxes, and then take it and sell it for. So I'm gonna say lean turn. Uh this is a three hundred dollars about three hundred thousand dollars. And then they're gonna take that and split it no. and keep the cash flow. No. Nope. Okay. Let me, I said it wrong. Yeah, let me back up a little bit then. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take it back to the bank, get it. So we have a in our industry, we have about a 10 cap on which monthly profit. Okay. All right. So at a minimum, I'm thinking they'll give us, I'm pretty sure they'll at least give us a 60% loan to value. Right. So that is what you said. Excuse me. So so we'll so we'll take we'll take the take we'll take the, and get it refinanced and get a new mortgage and probably get a 15, five, 30 months if we can. Right. Probably not. Every everybody recouped their money. Right. And we're still cash flowing for for however you can possibly fix. And, and that and this is when people sell. When they've already done this cycle, right? They get to the end of that cycle. They're 75, 65, but they've had it for 30 years. They've done what we're trying to do. Now nah, they want to sell. Right. That's how I get to get it. And, and they, they got the cash flow well, all these years. They got their money back. And now they're like, okay, I don't know. They're not doing the renovation. It's probably over the last five or six years. The yeah. books probably ain't been all perfect. Right. Yeah. You know, your books got to be right in order to do this strategy. For the bank. For the bank. Yeah. They want to see that cash flow. They got to see that. Sure. Your, uh, oh, yeah. It's got to be on point. <laughs> And you so have a relationship with the bank. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Business. That too. Have all that cash flow going into that bank so they can see it. But all right, now we see some, mm -hmm. some work going on over here. And we, they're getting paid on that money. So that's why you need the relationship with the bank. Right. So. Yeah, for the mobile home, you got to understand mobile home park is no competition. Right. They're not building any new ones. Nope. Yeah, I know people. <laughs> yes, they are. Well, let me know. I just said to people, if they're building a new one and I can buy one, let me know. Right. Other than that, they're building a new one. Yeah. And that's because of the taxes. Yeah. So the, the taxes in every city on a mobile home park are low. So they the city doesn't want any more mm. mobile home parks. It's not about... Because they're using, up, they're using the tax money, but they're not paying. Mm -hmm. And it's not their fault. It's just how it's, that's how it's structured. Okay. Right. right. And it makes sense. They shouldn't be paying. Like, I, I don't even know how much they're paying. But <laughs> like $7,000 in taxes. They shouldn't be paying that for, for where, they, where they are in the amenities that they get. Now, at the same time, they are using all the same roads, all the same schools, every single thing. Like, if you get a mobile home community and that's in a, a, a school a good school district, <laughs> it's Ooh. good. It's, you're always have it for right, always, and you can mm. charge the same the same dollar you're getting at decent apartments. If you got a luxury park, you can get luxury uh, apartment rates, right? No yeah. question. Apartment rent, like we said, they apartment rates they. is the, like twelve, and mm -hmm. I'm assuming in a good school district, probably fifteen plus. So literally. A town of oh, not towns, a box or a mobile home can get the same as an apartment. Could you imagine you and I owning a mobile home park in Gwinnett up there in Lawrenceville somewhere? Oh, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Make it to work on that. <laughs> get, get to work on that uh, for sure. So that's that's uh amazing. So I know from my perspective of mobile home, like I always got my perspective from like TVs and stuff like that. Uh, trailer trash, yeah, well, be bad. Mm -hmm. yeah, what was the eight mile? Yeah, yep, okay. every damn minute. Yep, so yeah. it just always got a bad perspective. But then looking from it on the investment aspect and then the need for it as well, because like I said, the rent it makes a lot of sense. And I rode through a few of them, and they're really nice. Like, I'm talking I mean, about, I'm good at one, they ain't get that image from nowhere. 
Uh, the Indians get that image from nowhere. Oh, <laughs> but the image is implemented. It's a strategy yeah. behind why they did that. Right. So well, for movie purposes, but I mean, oh, oh yeah, well, oh, we've been in some, oh, we've been in some bad, <laughs> we've been in some bad places. But at the at the same, I would say, the ones that are that we deal with mm -hmm. are are going to be closer to closer to eight mile. Mm -hmm. Then, then to whatever green no, greens and Florida. So <laughs> oh, okay, right. Because you want to value it. Because we want to value it. Right. Those are good plays when we get our money up there, mm -hmm. and it, and we can just say, you know, the the more you pay for, the more security you have, the more you gonna pay for that, mm -hmm. right? So we may not be able to do ten caps. We may not be able to do four caps. Right. Know, that's cool for our money at that time. Yeah. And that's not where my money's at. My money that I need, I'm almost at flip money. Right, but I need that. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's different. Um, uh, classes per se of of uh, mobile home parts. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Y'all looking for? I guess to see C uh, C class yeah. the, of the mobile home. The big boys added. come in and buy the 200, 300, 400 lot parts. Right, because they can buy them way cheaper than I can get. Them. Right, and they can pay more and, and make less. Right, than I could ever. Mm -hmm. At the same time, the same reason why it's hard for Walmart to make a pivot, I could come as a small retailer and change the whole game up. Right. Because I can make this pivot. Mm -hmm. So I ain't got to compete with them. I'm just staying my own name, make my own money. They ain't going to play down there. They're not playing. They don't want them. Mm -hmm. They want to come in cash flow off the. Off the <laughs> it doesn't ah. make sense to me. <laughs> and what happened, they'll even, they'll even buy them up by accident. Right and sell them to us because they can't. They, they like ah, oh, I don't can't get that number. Right, don't get that bye bye. <laughs> right, yeah. and we got one right now that that's the predicament we're in, mm. and they yeah, yeah. that we wait for them not to close. Mm. Literally, that's so. awesome. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, that's awesome. Value adding. Um, what else did we not? Oh, um, did y'all want to share this? Um, I don't think we have enough time. We have to do. <laughs> we got to do two play because um. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's okay. okay. So yeah, we have to do a part two. Yes, yeah. so we definitely gonna do a part two. Um, but how do they get in contact with you all? Um. Uh, have, yeah. First of all, they have a training course, yeah. um, so they have a bunch of students learning how to find the deals, analyze the deals, how to do the comps, um, and they just run your numbers in general. So how do they get in contact with you for um, your coaching program? Uh, he said his DMs is already full, so and they're just scrolling. <laughs> so <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna leave a link. Okay, because that's gonna be the easiest way right. to be able to find it. Because just trying to manage me is a, is a oh yeah, problem. don't mess. So um, <laughs> and, and I, I just just I just want to add this one piece because it's, I hate to say just like go listen to the lessons and all this stuff because I want you to know why you're coming here. Right. If you don't, if the and the entire reason for me doing these videos and putting them up here, or us doing those videos and putting them up here. Is because I want you to get to box one. Right. I want you to cash flow. I don't. I'm not concerned about you. The big idea. Right. I, I want you to have the big idea. It's mandatory, right? Right. And why is extremely important. But my goal in this video set is for you to get box number one. Right. And having a cash flow. Mm -hmm. That's that's our success. Okay. So you, if you get there, that's your success too. But that's their success. Oh yeah, I'm all. Uh, I love cash flow. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna definitely do a part two. Um, I get that link to everybody, uh, so you can definitely check them out. Um, uh, what's the, the name of the group? Uh, the Facebook group, Soso -so Investment Group. All right, so Soso -so Investment Group is the um, Facebook group that so, you guys. So Zio. S O Z O. Um, so maybe I think y'all did post some deals in there mm -hmm. from even y'all part. Yeah. They still don't like five hundred. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Let me encourage you. Yeah. Got that funding play that they asked me to spend some money. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, but cool. So that is going to be a wrap. Hit them on um, Sozo, S O Z O, um, real estate group to get in that group. And links, then we'll do the links too. And then we'll link the links. Uh, we'll put the links down here as well. So appreciate you guys coming out. Yeah, you know. Uh, <laughs> Always a pleasure, good talking with you all. Always. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs>